Hey y'all, welcome back for another video. Today we're doing something a little different. Probably gonna start like my weight loss journey situation videos but don't forget to like comment subscribe um i thank you guys so much for being along on this journey with me but today we're going to talk about my secret white loss smoothies that have helped me get snatched but before we go into that let me tell you something you are beautiful you are fabulous and you don't need to change nothing about you honey bun let me tell you something right now you are worthy you are beautiful i love you and god loves you Okay, and that's all you need in this life. Okay, all right. But without further ado, we're gonna go get into the video of my secret weight loss smoothies, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. First things first, you're gonna need a blender or a Nutriburst. I really wanna try one, but I don't have one. And then you're gonna get the cup you're gonna to use to put the smoothie in, fill that up with water, pour that water in the blender so you know how much you need in the blender for your smoothie, right? And keep that water because you're gonna use that water throughout the smoothie video, okay? Next, you're gonna need kale or spinach because you need a vegetable. That's what's going to help get this gut together. And I use basically two pinches of that throughout the video. You can also use like almond milk or like um, coconut water, whatever like liquidy base you want. I use just water because you need water in your diet anyway, so why not use it? So then two pinches of the um, green veggies that you're going to use. <clears throat> Ew, gross. And um, when you do that, you're going to blend it up really, really nicely. Um, and want it nice and just watery. You don't want any chunks because that'll be in your teeth. And that's just not cute. It's really not. It's really not cute. And then you're going to need a little bit more. I like to at least get one cup of veggies, green veggies, into my smoothie. And then the rest is fruits. Um, because the veggies is like the main key in it. You can't taste kale or spinach anyway, so don't worry. It's green. It looks disgusting. But trust me, you can't taste it in the smoothie. Next, you're going to need is your um, fruit. I get frozen fruit because frozen fruit lasts longer and it's cheaper than fresh fruit. If you want to use fresh fruit and be bougie, you do that. You do that, sis. But I'm going to use some frozen fruit. Frozen fruit is going to give it that chunky te texture that you want in your smoothie. Um, rather, if you use fresh fruit, um, you won't really get that consistency really of like a nice thick smoothie um but that's just me that's just what i peeped um do a little bit at a time because you don't want to use too much fruit or that's frozen because it will break the break the blades because this is my second blender because i broke my last blades because i had like a whole bunch of fruit in there tip do not put the fruit in there first put the veggies in there first because if you just put a whole bunch of frozen fruit in there it'll like mess up the blades because the blades can't handle all that banana and strawberry is what i use because it tastes so bomb you can really really taste banana banana has a real strong taste um i know that like mango and pineapple and all that stuff does not really have a taste like that um i blend mine several several times so it is kind of like liquidy and not really chunky and like a regular smoothie but disclaimer i'm not a nurse i'm not a doctor i'm not a pediatrician i'm not a pharmacist what i don't know what i want to what to say but i'm just giving you my tips of what i've done to help me regulate my weight when i know i've been out here eating nasty i've been out here just eating fast food and takeout and not really any eating anything healthy like veggies and fruits i'm making me a fruit smoothie especially when i know i don't I'm not a breakfast person really so i just make a fruit smoothie in the morning and that will just get something in my stomach that is nutritious and delicious um it's really really good just go ahead and drink it and knock it out it doesn't taste nasty at all um i don't add any um i pre-workout or pro post-workout whatever that people be putting in there i just drink strictly some veggies and fruit um you can do the spring mix kale mix spinach mix whatever you want um and then just get you some frozen fruit put it in there and you do what you do and you drink it there you go i would recommend you do one once a day um as like you can do it as a meal replacement or do it as a snack i know like if i really want to go get some ice cream i really want something else i'm like you know what stop let me drink some water 
and let me let me eat a smoothie so that's what i do as kind of a meal replacement when i know i shouldn't be eating stuff i shouldn't be eating that's just something that i've just noticed and it's just worked tremendously in getting me snatched honey bun because we need to be snatched out here but if you don't want to be snatched that's fine that is okay you are beautiful like i said and you are bomb.com like i said so don't worry about these people out here telling you what you got to do or even me telling you what you got to do just do what you need to be doing but we all need to be healthy and make better choices so why not add fruits and veggies in your diet because i don't get how people be eating spaghetti with like carrots that's nasty that's weird no i like my garlic bread so let me get my fruits and veggies in the morning knock it out and then have fun for the rest of the day period so let me know um what you do for your weight loss journey if you want to see my weight loss journey because it's been a journey honey bun but i love you god loves you and i'll see you guys in the next one